Now, counties are targeting digital jobs as part of their plan to deal with bulging unemployment. The ICT sector is being bulled as a new frontier of job creation at a time when formal jobs are on the decline. Narrow County ICT Chief Linus Nairimio is urging young people to improve their digital skills to benefit from available online jobs in the country. Statistics from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics indicates that Kenya's population is one of the youngest in the world, with 7 out of 10 people aged between 20 to 45 years. This demographic dividend places Kenya in a pole position to create a global digital army to tap emerging digital jobs. But if people have skills on um, various technologies, they can be able to create employment not just for themselves, but also for other people. They can be able to create businesses that create employment for other people. Kenya has already rolled out an ambitious digital jobs program dubbed Ajira Digital and Jitume, targeting to train and link more than one million young people with online jobs. IT experts quip that upskilling the youth in ICT skills is critical in the creation of a bigger digital economy for the country, while at the same time empowering Kenya's population to diversify into emerging occupations. We we'll train our technicians to give them the confidence that they need and the skills that they need to implement these solutions because security is of paramount importance in all aspects of our lives. Support in terms of training, we are going to provide training in partnership with the county government, so through the TVETs, through the polytechnics. It will also create a space for our youths to be able to engage in employment, online writing. They can even do jobs outside this country. The ICT sector in Kenya contributes about 7% to Kenya's economy, with the government planning to boost this to 15% of GDP by 2030. In September, the government removed the local shareholding requirement in the ICT sector that has choked the growth of the sector for the last 10 years. The move is expected to spur growth and attract more foreign investments into the sector. Alanaoko, Lunchtime News.